Good Monday morning, boys and girls. Welcome back from your weekend. Today is going to be gorgeous, but I want to start by saying you all looked amazing last week in your book character costumes as you dressed up to celebrate Dr. Seuss's birthday, even those teachers. Great job dressing up and celebrating with our kids. Did an awesome job walking in our parade. So very good job, boys and girls. Cute, cute outfits. All right. We are looking for our March Student of the Month. March Student of the Month and teachers, we need this about Thursday. We'll have it after spring break. So I'm just going to stop right here. We're going to go right here to our word for the month, which is courage, and let you watch our video. Hi, my name is Raya, and like you, I'm on the journey of living leadworthy. Can you think of a time that you've been brave? Maybe you've raised your hand to volunteer when nobody else would, performed in a talent show, or even asked someone you didn't know to play a game with you. When we know something might be difficult, but we do it anyway, we're showing courage. Courage gives us strength to face something difficult. We show courage by doing what is right or attempting something new. Sounds important, right? It is, but it's not always easy. Well, that's why we need to practice stepping up and trying hard things to grow our courage muscles. So, how do we learn skills to help us show and grow our courage? Here are some tips. Tip one, do the next right thing. Look for ways to show courage in everyday places. Try to answer a hard question in class. Have lunch with someone who looks lonely. Tell the truth at home, even if you know you broke the rules. There's opportunities to show courage every day. Just focus on the next one you see. Tip two, get outside your comfort zone. Sometimes doing the right thing is difficult and makes us feel uncomfortable. Sometimes we're nervous when we try something new. Doing these things may mean we have to choose to step outside our comfort zone. This takes courage. The more we take these steps, the more we build our confidence and inspire others around us to be courageous too. Tip three, don't be afraid to make a mistake. Trying something difficult or new, even if we might fail, can be scary. But sometimes, a mistake or struggle is what makes us stronger. Just think, every time you try something you're a little afraid of, like reading in front of your class and asking the new student to sit with you at lunch, you're growing stronger. Taking chances and trying things we're not sure we can succeed at is how we grow our courage and learn at the same time. Courage gives us strength to face something difficult. Showing courage won't always be easy, but we all can choose to do one small courageous thing each day. When you're courageous, you help those around you to step up and be courageous too. Who knows, if we flex all our courage muscles a little more, we might grow a bigger, better, more courageous world together. Are you ready to step up and practice showing your courage? Me too, let's go. Please worthy. All right. So has there been someone in your class that has showed courage, tried something new, stepped out, stepped outside of the box, made great choices in class, and had the courage to be better at classroom expectations? Those boys and girls should be your March Student of the Month. So you'll click on that link and vote as a class who is your Student of the Month. All right, let's celebrate. Way to go, Miss Sanders class as the music champions. And moving on to second grade, Miss Whitaker's class are, are the music champions from last week. Love that they had great attitude. And she said that they reminded each other to make good choices while they were in music. And first grade, this week is your music performance. So can't wait to see you all sing your songs this Thursday. I had a call. A few caught being good last week as we continue to fill up our 100 positive phone calls. Great job. Keep them coming this week. And don't forget, we have our March attendance. And I have forgot to tell you, everybody in the class with the winner for the March attendance is getting a water bottle. I may have mentioned that, but just wanted to remind you. So let's be at school and let's be at school and have the heart of a yellow jacket. Ms. Wilson and Dr. Bowler will be back around this week handing out our stickers, looking for those classroom expectations so that we can showcase on the Monday that we get back. All right, and remember, our goal was not to have more than 10. 
And right now we're at seven. So eight, nine, 10. We cannot have more than three this week. Now, if it rains on Friday, we will not be able to have a rebel party. We'll have to move it to the Monday we get back. There's a little chance of rain. So just wanted to talk about that. All right. And then just know that our fundraiser is over. So um, Dr. Roller will get with Miss Melinda in the office this morning to see who our top seller is in each grade and put names in a drawing for principal for the day as soon as we get back from spring break. So I'm going to launch you with this. Are, do you have the courage to be helpful? Do you have the courage to be accountable? And do you have the courage to be respectful? Go out and be the heart of a yellow jacket today with all of your friends and your teachers in class. Have a great day.